Pokefans. Michael here. Before I begin, I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Being Done With Finals, whatever. I personally am very glad to be done with finals because now I can devote more time to making wonderful videos for you wonderful people over the next few weeks while I'm home for the holidays. But now on to the video. Welcome to the second installment of Strange Pokemon Physics. In this episode, we'll be talking about a Pokemon that made quite the splash when it was first introduced. Waylord. Waylord is a water type Pokemon introduced in the third generation. With an astounding length of 47 feet 7 inches, it sits atop the list as the largest Pokemon ever to exist. However, even though Waylord may be the biggest, it is certainly not the heaviest. Waylord is actually only the 15th heaviest Pokemon overall, including Megas and Primal Forms in the mix. To get an idea of how light Waylord really is, a humpback whale, which is on average only a few feet longer than Waylord, weighs between 30 and 50 tons. That's a weight range of about 68 to 114 times Waylord's weight of 877.4 pounds. Some people have made calculations that take Waylord's absurdly light weight to an even more extreme level by looking at its density, or its mass per unit of volume. They estimated Waylord's volume as a cylinder 48 feet long and 20 feet in diameter. Dividing that volume by its mass of 398 kilograms, they got a density of a little less than one kilogram per cubic meter. Now before I get too far into this, here's a quick physics lesson on density and buoyancy. When an object is submerged in a fluid, a fluid being any gas or liquid, including the air we breathe or regular water, it experiences an upward buoyant force. According to Archimedes' principle, that upward buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid that the object displaces. So the buoyant force in water is far stronger than the buoyant force in air, because water is far more dense than air meaning it has a lot more mass and the same amount of volume. So the same amount of volume displaced in the fluid means it's going to have more mass, it's going to weigh more, and therefore is going to exert a far stronger buoyant force. For an object to float, the buoyant force upward must be stronger than the object's weight. To simplify that, an object will float if it is less dense than the fluid it is submerged in. For example, a rubber duck is less dense than water but more dense than air, so it floats in one but not the other. Now back to Waylord. These calculations found a density for Waylord that was less than that of air, meaning that Waylord would float in air. However, I decided to do my own calculations using a far more advanced and high-tech method of estimating Waylord's dimensions. I subtracted its tail length and found a smaller diameter, so I found an estimated volume of 7,686.8 cubic feet, or 217.67 cubic meters. Dividing its mass by those numbers, I found a density of 1.828 kilograms per cubic meter. That density is greater than air, so according to my calculations, Waylord would not float. No big balloons for us. Sad day. However, since Waylord is only slightly more dense than air, the buoyant force still plays a huge role. Calculating the weight of the air that Waylord displaces, that creates a buoyant force of 612 pounds upward meaning that Waylord effectively only weighs 265 pounds on Earth. If you put Waylord on a squat rack, I could squat him. More than once. To further illustrate Waylord's absurdly light weight, what if we were to take Waylord to the moon? On the moon there's no atmosphere, meaning no fluid for Waylord to be submerged in, so there wouldn't be any acting buoyant force. However, the moon has a different radius and mass than Earth, meaning that it has a different gravitational force due to Newton's law of universal gravitation. Calculating with the alternate values, we find that the moon's gravitational force is only about one-sixth as strong as Earth's. That means if you were on the moon, you would weigh one-sixth as much as you do right now. So, how much would Waylord weigh on the moon? 146.23 pounds, or 66.3 kilograms. This means that on the moon, I could bench press the largest Pokemon in existence. This also means that Machamp, whose strength we calculated in the last strange Pokemon physics, would have no trouble throwing Waylord into orbit around the moon. So other than the physics lessons we've learned today, I think another lesson we've learned is that Pokedex data can be a bit... off. But that makes it fun to analyze though, doesn't it? What'd you think of my Waylord buoyancy analysis? Did you learn something? What other Pokemon would you want to see here on SPP? Let me know in the comments below! Alright guys, that's all I have for now. So until next time, okay, fans. Gotta catch them all.